In this video, we're going to finish our lesson on factoring by decomposition. So we're going to move to the back of the sheet to the examples that we haven't covered yet. So our first question here says, factor each of the following. And our expression is 2x squared plus 3x plus 1. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. There we go. So when we're trying to factor something by decomposition, we usually do that if we have an x squared term, an x term, and a number. It's also called a trinomial because it has three terms, and it's quadratic because its highest exponent is a power of two. So anytime we're trying to factor a quadratic trinomial, by decomposition, the first thing we want to do is try to figure out how to take three terms and turn it into four. And we start by looking at that middle term and we try to figure out what did we add together? What were the like terms that we put together to get that three X? So I'm going to start by expanding my expression to four terms. So I have two X squared and then I'm going to have two middle terms that I collected to get 3x. I don't know what those are yet. And then I still have a plus one. Now to help us figure out what those two terms were, there is a clue hidden in the question. And the clue is that first term and last term. If I take the first term and the last term and multiply them together, two times one is two. So the two like terms that I added together to get 3x should also multiply to 2. So we are going to look for two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to that middle term 3x. So we're going to try to think of things that multiply to 2. That's what we want to focus on. So things that would multiply to 2. I have options here. I could use a multiplication grid, which you have from last week, or I could try to use a calculator to help me out. So we'll kind of go through both methods. If I try the multiplication grid, what I wanna to try to do is look to see if I can find a two on my sheet. So I notice there's a two here, so one times two is two. Can I make a three out of a one and a two? Well, one plus two is three. So I think we found those numbers pretty quickly. We're going to use one and two. One times two is two, one plus two is three. What that means is that the two like terms that I added together to get three X were one X and two X. Now it doesn't matter which one I put first. I usually try to pick one that I think would go nicely with the two X squared. So I think the two would go a little bit better with the two X squared. So I'm going to put the two X first. And then I think the one X is going to go a little bit better with the one. So I'm going to put the one X second. And then they're both positive. So I'm going to put a plus sign in front of both of them. Now from here, we are going to factor by grouping. Once I have four terms, I should be able to try to factor by grouping. So I'm going to start by looking at the first two terms. We're going to ignore the last two. We wanna see if we can make a multiplication question that gives me an answer of two X squared plus two X. So I wanna to try to see if there's something that divides into both. Now I could use my multiplication grid, but these are the exact same number. So I'm going to say that they both would divide by two and they both also have an X. So their greatest common factor is going to be two X. And then all I have to do to finish off that multiplication question is try to figure out what I would multiply two X by to get two X squared plus two X. And we can do that, sorry, we can do that by dividing two X squared and two X by two X. So if I divide two X squared by two X, two divided by two is one, and then X squared divided by X. I had two X's that were being multiplied. I took one of them out, so there's still one that's there left behind. And then two X divided by two X, two divided by two is one. So 
I'm gonna write plus one. And then x divided by x, I had an x, we took it out, there's no more x in that bracket. All right, the sign that's here in the middle is always the sign that goes there. And we are going to focus on the last two terms, which we are going to group together. So I'm going to try to ask myself, what do one x and one have in common? And the only thing that they would divide by is a one. So one x divided by one is x or one x. And then one divided by one is one. Now at this step, these two brackets need to be the same. So I have one x plus one and one x plus one. If they're not the same, we've done something wrong. So either we didn't find the right numbers or we made a mistake when we were doing our factoring there. So if these two things are the same, that means that my original multiplication question was something times one x plus one. What goes in that first bracket? Well, the parts that we're multiplying by. So I have two x and plus one. So the multiplication question that gave me an answer of two x squared plus three x plus one was two x plus one times one x plus two. Now I do just wanna say a couple little things. Number one, that one in front of the x is optional. You do not need to write it there. And two, if you switched the 2x and the 1x when you were subbing them in, you would get the same answer, but the brackets would be opposite. So we would have 1x plus 1 and then 2x plus 1, and that's fine. It doesn't matter what order we've got our brackets written down as long as we have both brackets. All right, I will see, we'll do the next example in our next video.